Seven years back, we realized the only way to go forward is actually reach the market, reach the retail customer, reach directly to the customer where we can make some sales happen. We moved on to the franchising setup in 2005 accordingly. From that point onwards, we have 60 stores today and that's our network of stores today. Um, so to give you my perspective on how things have changed, uh, number one, the dynamics in the sense of let's say how the press has come in basically. So we talk about large fashion designers, we have some renowned names over here as well. And um, to be very honest, you know, across the world also what you've seen is that to reach the final customer, Preth is the way to be, which is how it's happening over here as well. You have Preth lines coming out from every designer label. Even we as, a, as, a, as an organization have come up with various lines and we're reaching the customer accordingly. Apart from this, the, another change which comes to the fact is, you know, how we interact with the customer. Interaction with the customer nowadays is not just happening at the storefront. It's an entire persona of how you're presenting yourself. What is the kind of, you know, appeal you're giving off your brand? What is the kind of uh, aspirational value you're giving off your brand? How, what is the customer perceiving of you through and through? Which is what we are trying to envisage over here. Uh, apart from this also, you know, in the, in the, when you're talking about reaching the customer, social media, when you talk about the internet, when you talk about various new channels which have come into the play, also need to be taken into account. So, for example, what we do in our current set of system is, you know, we actually have a separate team who handles social media, a separate team who handles customer interaction and feedback forms, which are handled and tracked and monitored separately through every uh, time, time to time. Um, Another changing dynamic I would think of is how the inventory is being managed. You know, long time back, uh, when they were talking about inventory, every retailer's misery and doom is an inventory by the end of it, you know. How do they handle, how do you handle, kitna inventory rakhna hai, kitna nahi rakhna hai, when is the dead stock, how is the dead stock going to be handled, what is the lead time of actually ordering your new products. To counter that, what we did in our stores actually was build in a very, very strong ERP system. So what we've done is, we've actually managed to first, number one, identify what are the various parameters which need to be tracked. For us, for example, in the fashion industry, we needed to track, let's say, the supplier, the particular carrier who's made that actual piece. We wanted to track the color of the fabric, we wanted to track the material of the fabric. So identifying those parameters which you want to track for the particular industry become very important. After identifying those parameters, we move on to basically monitoring those parameters. So we fed into all the data, those data points into a very, very advanced software and said, okay, fine, let's track this over time. How does every store respond? How does every city respond? Every city, we've presented across 40, city to, 40 cities today. Every city has its own dynamics. Every city will want a different kind of product. Every city will want a different kind of customer appeal and customer service. Accordingly, every the production cycle is maintained. Accordingly, the inventory cycle is maintained. So if I have to plan the production of a particular, for a particular store in Srinagar, I will take into account different parameters coming from the data points coming from that software, which is what we do currently as well. Um, apart from this, you know, when we look at all the data points, our merchandising team will accordingly then design the line for the next season, thinking of those particular parameters, etc. as well.